Hi guys, I'm Ben and I wanted to share a few thoughts with you today on the release day for my new album, Ben Lee Sings Songs About Islam for the Whole Family. This may seem like a bit of a confusing or unexpected album for me to put out, but to give you some context, my own exploration of religion and spirituality throughout my life has really been very diverse and varied. I was born Jewish, I went to a Jewish day school my whole childhood, I studied Taoism in New York in my early 20s. I was married in a traditional Hindu ceremony uh, when I was almost 30. I've studied esoteric Christianity and I've been very interested in um, supporting the Tibetan Buddhist monks who are now living in exile and also studying mystical Judaism and Islam. And throughout this whole journey, I came to realize what Joseph Campbell had said long before me, which is every religion is true in one way or another. It's true when understood metaphorically, but when it gets stuck in its own metaphors, interpreting them as facts, then you're in trouble. So a few years ago, I started working on a new musical project aimed at kids and families that was really about reframing our understanding of religion. The way I saw it, all these religions were based on a very basic understanding of the human journey, the psychological journey. And that is that there is a truth that's hidden within each of us, in our hearts and in our minds, and that it takes work and it takes effort and energy and technique in order to find what is our own authentic voice, what is our higher power, what is our higher intelligence. And all of these religions were different expressions, but really they all taught exactly the same journey, the journey of the human being towards the truth. So this was a... This was a series of five albums I was going to make about the five major world religions. And I didn't totally finish it, but with what happened uh, last month with the current U.S. administration's executive order that was known as the, the travel ban or the Muslim ban, banning people from Muslim countries coming to America, I felt that it was really urgent to stand up in solidarity, not with any political movement or any religious agenda, but really with an an eye towards compassion and towards interfaith dialogue. Because the way I see it, like there are actually these beautiful things we can learn from each religion. There are beautiful lessons, ethics, um, parables, mythology that can really be very revealing about the human psyche if we allow ourselves to investigate them with an open heart. So this, I made this record and I decided to put it out. I, I'd already finished the record, but I decided to put it out quite urgently and all proceeds are going towards the ACLU. So your purchase is a donation um, who are doing an amazing job at protecting individual freedoms and civil liberties within America at the moment. And particularly were the driving force behind the battle against the current administration's travel ban. And this is a record for kids to listen to, but for families to discuss, hopefully, and to begin developing a sense of looking at our brothers and sisters in different religions and realizing they're just like us. They have exactly the same questions about what is the meaning of life? What is my purpose here? What is that little voice of my conscience or my intuition or my God that I hear calling within me? And how do I relate to that? So just to answer a few questions, because this has obviously been kind of a provocative subject and it's been interesting on social media to engage with people about it. Um, I wanted to answer some, just a couple of very basic questions. People were asking me how I felt about the violent imagery or violent narratives within the Quran or within Islam. And I have to draw your attention to the idea that battlefield narratives and violent imagery were used in the Torah in the Old Testament, in the Bhavad Gita, the Hindu sacred text, which, which is actually takes place on a battlefield. And Krishna uh, tells Arjuna he has to get up and fight. And we understand that to not be a literal fight, but to be fight the battle of being human, get up each day and engage, fight, walk, keep walking down the spiritual path. But anyway, these military narratives exist in Shakespeare. They exist in the Odyssey, in Greek mythology. And really, again, to go back to the Joseph Campbell quote, we have to begin to understand these metaphorically and symbolically. What is the battlefield? What is the battle we're talking about? What is the spiritual battle? This isn't a battle between people. It's a battle between ourselves, between who we want to be and who we are, between the negative tendencies in us that 
uh, intent to like sort of drive us into complacency or laziness or pettiness and the side of us that's aspirational that wants to become better. So I'd really encourage us to read that symbolically. But also to note that there are other parts of religious texts, and I love all the sacred texts. As you can see, I'm an avid reader, but there are parts of all religions that are antiquated and come from the time, and we should just respectfully move beyond them and dig for the jewels and find the lessons that we can learn, because there is so much culturally, philosophically, that we could be sharing with each other. With each other. I'm not interested in the legalistic implementation of any laws based around religion in a country. I'm interested in the mystical heart of each religion. So really this album is an invitation for you and your family, for your children, to think about seeing the world, seeing the spiritual journey, seeing the psychological exploration that we're each on, the path of the heart through the eyes of someone else, through a different lens. And I can just say from my experience, I've attempted to look through these lenses. I've attempted to read these sacred books, these poems, contemplate these myths, com contemplate these narratives. I've looked through this lens and the world is beautiful through it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.